So let's turn our attention now to US data points to keep an eye on. OK, so it's the start of the FOMC meeting, the last one ahead of the summer break. Um, obviously, we won't hear anything out of the meeting today, uh, but tomorrow we'll get the uh, interest rate decision for July. Um, and uh, in terms of outright data points, we start with uh, the Case-Shiller House Price Index for May. Uh, two numbers here. So the month on month number, we're looking for growth of 0.3%, which is bang in line with the prior read of plus 0.3%. And on the year on year number, which just to flag is not seasonally adjusted, uh, we're looking for gains of 5.6%, which is up from the prior read of 4.9%. So U US house prices ideally moving in the right direction. Our old friend, Red Book Chain Store Sales, uh, always comes out on a Tuesday. Uh, just to flag, really, the last two reads in this this number of Low. dipped and we're still we're really struggling to get back to anything like the peaks we saw in November last year and um, probably the more important number today is the flash PMI for services for July the forecast is for a read around 54.8 um, that's banging in line with the prior read of 54.8 anything better than that would obviously be good news but uh, uh, a negative number um, wouldn't be so well received. Having said that, we've got to remember that negative number might be good news because it might mean interest rates stay low for longer. Um, and then lastly, uh, today, the Richmond Fed Manufacturing Index, another one of the regional surveys uh, from the regional feds. Uh, so forecast here a read of 7.5 versus the prior six. Obviously, the higher the number, the more positive. And this number's been improving since February, so it would be surprising if we saw a dip in that number. Okay.